So as you're preparing to share what you're learning, uh, I've got this assignment here on Google Classroom called Share What You Learned, which you can use for anything that you're going to share with your teachers or with your cohort. <clears throat> Here's the uh, demonstrating learning choice board. OK, as you pick things to do, what if you want to do a Pear Deck? Open up uh, a new tab and go to PearDeck.com. This time you're going to click on Teacher Login. And it says, yeah, you're a trailblazer. Uh, first one in your school to do this. I don't know if that's true, but let's go with it. Put in your postal code, code for the school, 98325, and choose Chimicum Elementary. And then connect to your school. And then once you're here, you have to authorize Pear Deck. So say, OK, I'll grant permission. And you got to use your Google account. That part's important. And then anytime you get one of these, if you are like stuck wondering what to do, don't forget to scroll down because you got to find the allow button. And then you're in. Um, once you're in here, you can go to create a lesson. And then agree and create file. And again, always use your school Google account for everything and allow. And it's going to create a new Google Slides file for you. Uh, use Chrome because you're, want, you're going to want to add the, the Pear Deck uh, add-on. And while this is loading, I'll show you what it looks like uh, to do that. Or better yet, I'll just show you now because it finally loaded. So I'm going to go to add-ons and I'm going to get add-ons. And there it is right there, Pear Deck. And luckily, I have it installed. Uh, but if you don't, you're going to need to uh, click on Install and install it. And then open the Pear Deck add-on. Needs my permission to run. And again, you're using your school Google account. Uh, it just needs a lot of permissions anytime you change something. And that's it. I mean, you can click here for new slide, just like always, and get rid of this one by right clicking and choosing delete because you really don't want this make your lesson interactive with the power of Pear Deck slide. So just delete it. And um, this is your presentation. Let's say you're doing PH. You can click on uh, these to add a multiple choice question or a short answer question. Now you can do text, choice, and number, but I think draggable and draw are only for paid accounts, so you won't be able to do those. Um, or maybe it will let you. Oh, look at that. Let's me do it. Uh, if you can't do it, don't worry, but if you can, by all means, use it. Any of these tools that you can use Go for it and just play with it, practice, uh, click on start the lesson and then try it out on your phone just to make sure it works. Um, and when you're ready to present to the class, first of all, let's title the presentation. Uh, what you'll do is click on start lesson and it'll be just like when I start a lesson. You'll, you'll get the join code. We will all go to joinpd.com, put in your join code, and then make it student or teacher led so you can lead us through each of your slides and see how we're answering to see if we actually learned your parameter or what it is you're sharing with us. So yeah, that's the quick and easy way to get started with Pear Deck. Good luck.